Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, slightly precarious position at the moment, and as you can see, I'm having a go at some bubble photography. I've got the 1DX on, I've got my 100 2.8 macro lens on, I've got a lens cap full of fairy liquid mixture, quite a strong fairy liquid mixture. I know you can put um, glycerine in the mix to make it a bit thicker, but we haven't got any in the cupboard, so I'm making do with a really strong fairy liquid mix at the moment. Other washing up liquids are available, of course. <laughs> now, as you can see, I've got my massive, well oversized softbox up. It's the only softbox I've got, really. I should only have a 50 centimeter box, but making the best of a bad job. So we haven't got any straws in the house either. So <laughs> I've taken to bits a big pen and I'm using that is my straw. <laughs> Let's have a go. Obviously, I've had a go at this for a few hours before I started uh, filming, uh, so a bit of cheating going on. But I did soon realise I was getting some odd reflections in the bubbles, and of course, the softbox was reflecting off this table. So I went and got an old black t-shirt and covered my book with a black t-shirt and put the the uh, lens cap on there and hey presto, all the reflections went and it was, uh, we were on to a good frame or two. So yeah, definitely need a black piece of material or an old t-shirt or something just to uh, stop the flash from reflecting off your surface that you're on. Now, before I put up the softbox, I thought I'd have a go with this LED strip line and not really putting any thought into the process. Obviously you need a, a sheer flat white light shining over the bubble. So although this made some nice images, as you can see here, um, obviously it didn't give a, a nice flat light. So uh, that was learning process number one, which I didn't put much thought into. So although it gave some nice results, this soon uh, got taken down and the softbox was put up. Let's have a go. So settings wise, I'm at ISO 100, F11 and 200th of a second shutter speed. I've got my pocket wizards wired in. So one's coming off the camera and then the other pocket wizard is on the, the flash unit up there. It's just a standard, uh, studio flash unit that's all with the softbox on and then I've got it precariously tied up to the the back shelf unit because <laughs> I haven't got any uh, 90 degree booms but we'll see how we get on right let's get a bubble blown Ooh, getting under here is a bit precarious now you want to have your your straw or your big pen at quite a low angle so that it's just into the solution and then as the bubble blows come out with the bubble A bit like that. Not quite right, but let's have a go at that and see how we get on. That actually looks quite good. As you can see, not quite set up right uh, angle-wise, so let's have another go. Just gonna move the tripod around a bit. And what I'm gonna do for a start, just to get focused, I'm just gonna place that on there, remove it away a bit and then just try and focus on that. So that's focused up. Obviously I'm in manual focus on the lens. Right, let's get another bubble blown. Okay, let's try that. Oh, that looks lovely. Just gonna give it a blow and it gets all the, all the fairy liquid mixing about. Oh, that's, that's looking really nice. Oh, bubble's gone. Right, let's have another go. Give it a bit of a blow. Smashing. I'm just going to knock it up to F, let's have a look. I'm gonna go up to F13 this time. Oh, bubble's gone. 
So that's why we need the glycerine, really. Right, let's have a look at that. Well, that bubble's a bit big. I don't want to move the camera, so let's burst that bubble and try again. Let's try that. There's two bubbles again, but we're past it. Lovely. Bit of a blow. Go. Slashing that. It's looking nice. So this time I'm gonna, I know I focused on the, the pen there, but this time I'm gonna try and get a bubble and refocus. Bit of a blow. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, he's gone. Let's have a look what it looks like with multiple bubbles. Have a look at that. Certainly really different. that makes a difference for not not quite obviously what we want that that nice dome with all the colors but it makes a nice image still and some great results it's great fun i'm just going to let the bubble settle and you'll see the the rainbow effect that you get as it as it settles oh it's gone so i'll blow a bubble this time and then just let it settle let's have a look at the rainbow effect so i'll just let that settle for a minute I won't blow this time see the, the different effect that you get. You can really see that rainbow effect coming now. See if I can give it a blow. Oh, there we go. That was a really good bubble, that one. Crikey. Now, you can see in that last frame, you know when the bubble is going to burst because you get a dark black spot at the top. And that's obviously just as the, the liquid is falling, the fairy liquid, and the bubble is obviously at its narrowest at the top, and pop, it goes. So I just managed to catch that one quite nicely. Almost looks like there's a hole in the bubble. So that's great fun. I'm quite happy with them. I'll just quickly show you my setup from a distance. <laughs> You'll have to ignore the Heath Robinson setup with the string tied to the unit <laughs> to keep the flash unit up because I haven't got a, a boom, you see. So just to go over the kit, I've got the 1DX, uh, shutter speed is at 250th, F16, ISO 100, I've got my 100 2.8 macro and then on the table I've got this black bit of cloth, well it's actually an old t-shirt. Under the t-shirt, as you can see, is a book and then on, on the book, I've got this lens cap with the solution in it, the fairy liquid solution, quite a thick solution. Obviously, you can have glycerine, but uh, we haven't got any in the cupboard. A Bic pen, which doubles up as a, a straw. And then we've got the softbox, oversized softbox. You, could, you didn't need one, a lot smaller, really. And then backdrop wise, I've got my folding uh, reflector just with the black side facing us just as your black backdrop and uh, jobs are good. Oh yeah and I've got the two, um, I've got my flash unit is on three quarters power so it's given up, it's given off some good light and then linking the camera to the flash unit I've got a couple of pocket wizards in use so yeah so uh, hopefully you guys can have a, a go at it and uh, it's, uh, it's pretty basic setup really I haven't even got a boom 
all I've done is, as you can see, I've uh, rested the the tripod against the table. I've also, as a secondary measure, tied it up to the, the rear unit with some string. So yeah, really you need a boom, but I've just lent, lent the tripod up and uh, just got this nice, this soft box nice and square, quite low, what's that? Six, eight inch from the, from the bubble, where the bubble top is, and uh, it's worked quite well. And again, same sort of distance from lens to, to lens cap. So uh, yeah, it worked quite well, I think. All in all, not bad, quite happy with that for a, something to do for an hour or two if you do have a go let us know how you get on and uh, it'd be great to be great to hear if you have a go with it just to keep you busy for a bit anyway so uh, jobs are good and thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed that something a bit different keeps us busy doesn't it but uh, it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up awesome if you could hit that subscribe button catch up again soon